Speaking with Sean at Cinnabon uh, and the incident that has happened, uh, we are still waiting as a broadcast uh, for a media release from RCMP. This has got to be scary whether this was intentional or not. When it comes to a small business like yours, you still got to file insurance. Do you know how much this is going to cost? Yeah, we're at least out of pocket a grand yeah. up front. Um, we're still trying to figure that out. So for all the glass and some of the damage and stuff, um, yeah, it's going to hit the bottom line. It's going to affect the bottom line for sure. But there was not a break in those, just the, a, a, a pellet gun or something shot at the windows? Uh, I'd be very confident to say it's just vandalism. Uh, I don't know intent, um, but yeah, it is the, the marks and the glass and the type of fracture and stuff like that. It, it, it looks like a BB gun. We were talking off air that, uh, especially downtown, there's been a, a ton of vandalism there. Have you had a, a, a history over the past year of any problems, or is this the first real major issue you've had? I'm honestly surprised with the foot traffic that we have that kind of cuts through the parking lot, how little vandalism we've experienced. Um, homelessness, kind of garbage and stuff, that's fairly frequent and you just expect it. Um, but we've been really lucky for vandalism. You know, now, I know a lot of other folks have suffered. Yeah. And having said that, you've got security cameras and that, so we do. That helps. Uh, uh, so we have had break-ins. You have had break-ins. We we had two break-ins last year, okay. uh, which I'm probably underplaying a little bit, but yeah. um, they were um, smash and grab. So smash come into the back, take what they found was valuable, and left. So we've had to upgrade some of our internal systems as a result. Okay. What, did they take tools or did they take goodies? Or we'll just show a little bit of the goodies over there. But, uh, yeah. Um, they, they took money and okay. equipment. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, is there anything else we're missing, Sean, that uh, you wanted to pass along? I, I know there's been an outpouring from the community. You know what? That is the, um, the sort of bright side of all of this. Even just my communication with the officers involved getting to know them a little bit, getting to know the, the kit committees they're a part of and hearing what people are doing, it actually feels inspiring. And I told two of them how encouraging it was as a community seeing this stuff happen. So even though it sucks up front, I actually feel closer as a community as a result of it.